This is how to master omen in under 8 minutes. First, let's start off simple. Stop throwing your smokes like this. This gives the enemy team a lot of space to lurk out with and catch you and your team off guard. Your smoke is supposed to block an enemy's line of sight and also allow for you to take space easier. Instead, smoke flush with the doorway so that anyone trying to push through the smoke or play around it will instantly net you a free frag. People are also still under this impression that you can't use omen one ways after the nerf but actually you can still all you have to do is place this little green arrow directly on top of a surface like a main on ascent and you will still be able to use some nice one ways to get some easy frag and if you're looking to get the champions bundle you need to see this but since not everyone can afford it i'm going to be giving away one valorant battle pass to one person who drops a like and comments their free cash username and one of my viewers has made over 600 dollars with it you can do something like this coin master task where all you have to do is sign up and get your village to one six and you can make almost $214 for this task. This task also has a high scores tab where you can compete against other players in the app and win up to an additional $200 daily. Or they have easier and faster tasks like this TikTok one where you can earn $2 just for signing up for TikTok. I currently have over $100 in my balance and on average it only takes users 17 minutes until they have enough to make their first withdrawal. Once you've earned enough free cash points and want to withdraw, just select the Valorant gift card option and the amount that you want to withdraw and click withdraw to get a code then hop on valorant and head over to the prepaid gift card section and type in your code and just like that you got enough for new skins if you want to try it out join from the link in the pinned comment or description for a chance to open a gift box worth up to 250 dollars now let's get back to the video omen's flash also has a few different mechanics when moving forward his flash will travel faster you can also hold your s key to move backwards while throwing it if you want the opposite effect you can also use his normal teleport to dodge a fade ultimate by simply timing it and teleporting in front of the ultimate use this to catch enemies off guard and get easy frags and you can also use this exact same mechanic to counter the breach ultimate which will also catch a ton of enemies off guard who will probably expect you to be stunned you can also use the teleport on bind to fake a sound cue that you guys teleported to rotate by starting a teleport while jumping into the actual teleporter this will make the noise like you teleported but you never did and you can use this to outplay your enemy you can also use what is called the robin tp which was made by Lil Robin on TikTok where you can teleport on the ground below you and then peek while you're mid teleport animation and this will trick enemies into thinking you teleported behind them but you're really just on the same spot. His ultimate also has a few different uses and you can use it to teleport behind the enemy team on a sight hit so that you and your team can pinch the sight players together easier but you can also use his ultimate to grab the spike. Also quick fun fact standing on top of the spike doesn't block it from being picked up so if you're ever in a clutch with omen ultimate run to the opposite site and grab the spike with your ultimate to outplay the other team you can also use your omen ultimate to outplay enemies when they use a killjoy ultimate when the killjoy ultimate is about to detain you simply use your omen ultimate to teleport out of its range and then cancel the ult you'll be able to avoid the detain and if you're playing an angle that was cleared already you will probably be able to catch the enemy team off guard and get some really easy frag or if the enemy team is pushing a site sometimes you can omen alt behind them to to catch them off guard as well now let's not forget about the most popular tech with omen the flash teleport if you know an enemy is somewhere you can flash them and teleport behind them this is so strong because they usually aren't able to hear or see where you teleport when doing this just be careful that you aren't doing it in front of multiple enemies or an enemy that isn't blind may get a free frag on you you can also use the flash to flash for your teammates when they are entering and a good example of this is on split you can flash a ramp from sewers and anyone trying to peek ramp will be full blind you should tell your teammates you're going to use this flash and get your jet or raise to dash or satchel up ramp to get your team free frags on an entry on ramp you can also use this exact same concept on split from market to be heaven to flash all of heaven and get your teammates some free entry picks on blind enemies starting off with b the first thing you're going to want to do on a fast b take if you're going b main is omen flashing this lane this will blind anyone holding the B main angle and allow your team to get up to this area safely. Then for smokes, you are going to smoke 
for your first smoke in market and your second one in CT. This allows for you guys to scale up lane and stairs without getting caught from market and CT. Or if you're taking mid control, you're going to simply smoke cat and then you're going to throw your other smoke towards bottom mid and usually you'll put a sober dart here or a fade haunt whatever to clear the close mid angles and take mid control. For an A take, it's pretty simple. You're going to want to splash towards the gen to blind anyone playing the gen area. And then you'll put one smoke in the door and one smoke towards heaven. This will allow for your team to come out and possibly kill a blind enemy gen and also make your way over to door to close it while scaling onto site. On defense, you can one way A main. Just put this little green indicator on the top of this wall, throw your smoke, and this will make it so anyone trying to push for A main control will have to walk into your one way. If your team wants to fight for mid control, you can either smoke tiles right here or you can smoke top cat. Either of these will allow you to fight for mid towards tiles or fight towards cat. If they're pushing B, you can simply just drop a smoke at the main entrance. And if you want, you could throw a flash to stop their push. You can also use this exact same concept for A main. You can just drop a smoke at the entrance. And if they try to push through anyways, just throw a flash and kill some blind enemies. Now for buying on A, typically I will throw this flash and this will get all of you haul. And then what I'll do is I will smoke the left side of triple and the right side of triple for my team. This allows my team to scale up and take sight and anyone that was playing close U-Haul will be blinded. For B site, what I will do is I will ping in hookah and then you can kind of jump and throw your paranoia and this will blind anyone playing hookah. And then from there, it's pretty simple. You just smoke elbow and then you smoke your spawn. And this will allow your team to scale up on site and take the site with anyone in hookah being blinded. For defense, it's very straightforward. If they're pushing, you're typically gonna wanna smoke showers so that you can't get peeked from showers and then you will smoke on short they will still be able to peek on top of this box though so you need to be mindful of it and for b site you're gonna always want to smoke hookah if you're on defense and they're coming b because this will allow you to cross out into sight and then smoking long as well be careful with this though because they can still tp so don't over rotate so for fracture which i really don't suggest players playing omen on we're going to smoke in spawn and we're going to smoke drop and then after that we are going to ping for tower and flash tower the reason we flash tower is so that we're able to sand split because we don't have a third smoke to cover it we want to be able to flash that angle up and this will allow your team to come through main and sands and split the site now for b typically what you're going to want to do is also flash towards tower and then you're going to smoke your canteen and smoke your gen this allows your team to come in and it will blind anyone playing slant or close tower and allow your team to scale up. You're typically gonna want some teammates coming through arcade as well to scale on the guy who's blind in tower, possibly a jet or raise. Now for defense, it's pretty simple. If they're coming B, you're definitely gonna wanna smoke B main. Also, you'll sometimes see another smoke be placed arcade so that you're able to cross towards site without being killed. If they're coming A, you're going to want to smoke drop here, and then you're also going to want to smoke A main. This will allow you to cross out from spawn to help your teammate site without getting killed from a lurk drop and also smoke off the main push. So if your team's taking A, you'll typically see players flash from long and flash all of the short lane from here. This will blind anyone playing close short or even left side site. From there, you'll also want to smoke heaven and smoke spawn so your team can come out and not die from rotates and possibly get some free frags on some blind players playing short or left side site. You can also use your ultimate. And if you actually press your ultimate on this little block here, you can alt inside of hell, which is pretty strong because people typically will alt in heaven. Now for B site, it's pretty easy. You typically just smoke C link and you smoke A link. There's not a specific set flash I do, but I'll usually just throw a flash in left side or right side, either or just so it can help my team take the site. So for a C take, it depends if you're doing a C split or a regular C take. If you're going five man C, just smoke spawn, smoke garage link, and then you can flash this entire right hand side of sight, which will blind anyone that's playing close or left side sight. Or if your team is splitting C, you can use your flash to blind all of the close angles here. And then what you'll smoke is garage window and CT so that your team can run up through garage and run up through long and actually split the site very effectively. For defense, if they are coming A, typically the default smokes you'll see is one smoke short, and one smoke towards long. This will make it so that no one long 
will be able to see anyone on site or short. They'll kind of have to flash through it and typically they'll cancel and rotate. Or if they're going B, the most typical smoke you'll see is just one front B, very simple stuff. And this will block anyone trying to play a post plant outside of the site, they'll have to kind of run in. If they're coming C, you'll typically just see a C long smoke like right here. You can also place one site if you want to play around, but this is the most typical one. It's also good to switch it up sometimes and smoke mid window so you can allow your team to fight down mid and fight for mid control because mid control is pretty important on this map. So starting with C, you can kind of flash the entire site here and this will blind anyone taking site and then your default smokes are going to be one waterfall and one towards their spawn. This will allow your team to scale into sight and get some free picks on the blind enemies and it'll also smoke off both of the retake positions. For B site, it's fairly simple. You just smoke C link and then you smoke heaven and then typically you will flash towards broken door. This will make it so that anyone trying to hold this angle on your team entering will be blinded. For an A take, you're gonna do just a simple smoke for stairs and a simple smoke for heaven and then what i like to do is i flash the middle of the site which basically blinds anyone playing in the site as my team splits through mid and through tree now for defense on an a retake you could smoke tree and you'll smoke mid here so that you can stick the diffuse and they have to push through the smoke but at the start of the round on omen typically what you will see is you'll see an omen player he will flash here this will blind anyone trying to fight for a control and while they flash here you'll see them do a nice little tp on top of rubble to fight for a control if they don't see anyone there simply just smoke it off and then you can hold this smoke and hold this forward position and then your team can now stack B and C. For a B retake, it's really simple. You just simply smoke the entrance to B main because typically players will plant here and try to spam. Or you can simply just smoke the spike. For C, again, it's fairly simple. You'll just smoke the entrance to C main on a C take. Typically, players will either be out by mound that you can flash through, or you can smoke sight here again, just so you can defuse the spike. Now, since Omen is out of meta on Pearl, since Ash is such a stronger pick, it's a little tough to use them. But if you are taking A and you do play Omen, smoke one smoke towards Art, and then you're gonna put your other smoke towards Flower, and then you're going to try and flash secret slash pit so just throw a running flash towards here this will blind anyone pit or holding secret which will allow your team for a little bit of an easier time to take the site so on a b take what i try to do is i try to smoke heaven first of all and this will block that line of sight and then i will also smoke lower and that'll block that line of sight so the only places they can really play is screens or backhaul and then what i'll do is i will throw a flash towards mid link to blind anyone that's trying to rotate or play this angle and then my team is able to have a split time frame where they're able to scale up towards back hall and take site. Now for defense, it's pretty simple. Now, if they're coming B, you can kind of simply just line up a smoke in between the sign and the wall, and you just smoke this angle off. This will block any vision from anyone playing B long, and usually it'll stop the entire push. For A, you pretty much just see the typical A main smoke right here if they're pushing A. And if you are playing site, you can kind of flash this lane. They'll either stop the push or be full blind pushing it. So on split attack, you're gonna almost always wanna be smoking ropes to take mid control and break the sage wall. If your team is making their way up through mid mail, come into market here, ping B heaven, so you know where to aim. And then just a simple jump flash, and this will blind anyone playing any of the close angles in B heaven as your team is pushing them. If your team is doing a B split through that, you can smoke deep stairs from them and then smoke spawn so your team can scale up through heaven and B main to clear the site together. However, if you guys are just going for a straight B take, you definitely wanna just smoke heaven here, smoke spawn, and then you can flash all of site like this. And this will blind anyone playing this angle and force them off the site and do a retake. For A site, you can literally flash ramps from sewers, so this flash will actually blind anyone playing the ramp angle, which is really good if you have a jet or raise to blast pack on this player to get a free kill. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just smoke heaven, and you're going to want to smoke screens for your team. This will help your team take site control and block their line of sights, and also the player ramp will be full blind. Now for defense, I do want to show you guys, you can use this flash. I typically use this with when my team has a jet or raise alt. I will flash all of the A main lane for my team so that they're able to push and use their alt on blind enemies and maybe win us the round. But if they are pushing A, typically you're going to want to smoke either deep if you're fighting for A main control so they have to push through a smoke and you can hold it. But if they've already crossed that line, you can then smoke A main and just hold this push. You can alternatively play elbow and if they're pushing through your smokes, you can then blind 
the A main push, and all of these players here will be full blind. You can also flash B main for your team if they want to get aggressive. You can do a flash like this, and this will blind anyone trying to peek the B main angle and allow for your teammate to push and get some early aggression if they have like jet knives or something. If they're pushing B, you can simply just drop a smoke B main. This is pretty much default, and you know, they have to push through the smoke. They'll usually put a sage wall here anyways, but you know, this smoke will allow you to hold the push pretty easy.